we have installed our web server and we are able to start our services now before we move on to configuring the nginx web server we need to get a few things clear that is process management and uh, some basic commands like curl net start etc this is going to be an interesting video okay now we're going to have a primer on debugging a web server in this we're going to talk about so we're going to talk about checking for processes checking for listening services open ports http requests etc i think these commands are going to be useful for a lot of people now let's get back to our web server we have nginx running here to look for running processes in the system we use the command called ps so ps is used to see the running processes ps has a lot of options a lot of switches the most used one is a u x ps space a u x or you can do dash e f so if i do ps space a u x it's going to list all the processes in the system if you take a look at the man page of ps here you can see that it gives some examples to see every process on the system ps dash e f we used it here or ps a x q or i, I like to say it a u x so the first option is a which means list all processes with the terminal now if you do ps space a now this is it it's only going to show the processes started by my current process if you do a u the output is a little bit different here you know what a perfect exercise would be to learn about the output of ps so do research about all the available options with the ps command you don't have to learn all the available options just go with the most used ones like a u x a u x e f etc if you do ps a u x now there's a lot of information here the first column here shows the user under which the process is running and the next one would be PID or process ID. Now every process in the Linux system will have a process ID associated with it. And this is one of the important column that we will need. The next one is percentage CPU or it is a percentage of CPU used by this process. And the next one is percentage of memory used by this process. And the other one is amount of virtual memory used by this process which calls for another exercise what is virtual memory do a research about what is virtual memory and how does it differ from normal memory and rss here is the actual ram usage or physical memory usage and tgy is which terminal this process is attached to if you look here you can see that all the services are running without a tty here sshd does not have a tty but this one here for example the command that i just ran psaux which also comes under the process list obviously it is attached to this pts slash zero which is the current shell that i have opened we can also see the nginx process running here so you use ps command to list all the running processes now obviously you can pipe it to grep and find only the processes that you are interested in so in this case which is nginx as i mentioned before this is the process id of nginx now here if you look here there are three processes running nginx nginx and the next one is grep now why is that that is because we are asking ps to list all the processes and then filter it out with anything that contains the word nginx now when we run this grep is also a process and that does have the text nginx as an argument that is why this one shows up here So back to our nginx example here 1269 is the process id of nginx there are two processes here 1269 is the parent process and 1270 is the worker process or it's a child process of this one which calls for another exercise parent and child process in linux and especially how does it come under ps command so the first step in checking whether our website works or not is by looking if our web server process is running 
So here for example let's say our website is not loading. The first thing that you need to check is whether the process itself is running or not. In this case it is running. Now if it is not running then you can go ahead and start it using the system CTL command that we did before or then there are stuff that you need to check why it was not running. You may have to check the log files and see if there were any errors that, that caused the service to stop. So now let's say for example we need to kill this service. We do that using the command kill and space the process id. In this case which is 1269. Now we're gonna if I enter this we're gonna see an error and you need to tell me why that is. Operation not permitted. Why is that? That is because I am user Mansoor and this process is running under root and I have no permission to kill a process that is running as root unless I run it using sudo. If I enter the password and if I go and check for nginx again you can see nginx is not running anymore. We just killed it. Now talking of kill, kill has many options and one of the thing is called a signal. So if you look at the man page for kill, it says send a signal to a process. These are the useful signals, up, int, kill, stop, continue and zero. Now you should do a research about what are signals in Linux. Now I simply googled and I came across this tutorials point website. Now they have listed all the signals here. You can read about all of this and see what exactly it means. So these are the important things to note here. Sig end or control C. This is what happens when you press control C. That signal is called sig end. And if you do control D, it is called sig quit. This is another important signal called sig kill. This is one of those dangerous signals. If you send this signal to a database process, it could cause data corruption. So you have to be careful with using this signal. And sig term or number 15 is the termination signal. This is the default signal. When we did kill space 1269 here, it sent a term signal or it's called a sig term. So what it means is when nginx receives this signal it has received an instruction to stop whatever we are doing and gracefully exit the process what it means is it will finish the request it was serving and then it will exit on the other hand if you do kill dash 9 which stands for sick kill it will not wait for anything it will immediately kill the process which could cause corruption if it is doing some critical task as i mentioned before any database server could have issues with running with receiving a sig kill so that is what a signal is i would highly recommend you read a bit more about this and have a fair bit of understanding about what a signal is and how it works and how each signal differs so that's how you kill a process now since we killed it, let's start nginx back again. Another important tool or debug tool is netstat, which is not installed by default and we install it using hmm, I don't know the name of the netstat package. How do I figure it out? We can use apt cache search netstat and here you can see net tools is the package that provides that command so i can simply install it you install net hyphen tools all right so net stat it's gonna have a lot of weird stuff in it but the most used command or options with net start is net start dash t u l n p you should read what each of these switch mean do that as an exercise you know the options in dash t u l n p the reason i am not explaining each of them is that you are probably going to forget that you will only remember it by keep using it in any way 
next that shows all the networking related stuff as the man page says it prints the network connections routing tables statistics etc so this is what we are interested in dash t u l n p and this is the part that we are interested in so the first column says protocol you know which is tcp or udp forget about these for now the next one is local address which means the address this particular entry is listening on i'll explain what this means in a moment and foreign address is the remote address and state is what state is this process under pid is the program id of of that process is listening on this port number here this program id is empty because we are running it as a normal user you can see the program id just by using sudo here you can see this is the process id of nginx now this is the port number that it is listening to as we know nginx listens on port number 80 because it's an http web server and here we have ssh running on port number 22 now this is one of the most important command that will come in handy a lot of times mostly this command is used to see which all services are listening on a server for example you just logged into a server that is supposed to be serving web traffic that would mean port number 80 you don't know which web server it is running it could be apache it could be nginx or it could be some other web server you can use netstat to figure out which one it is running and this 000 means it's listening on all network interfaces that means if i do this ipa here we can see that there are two network interfaces the first one is loopback network interface or 127.0.0.0.1 which is the local host and the next one is the 192.168.0.110 which is the ethernet network interface so 000 means whatever network interface the system has this service should listen on all of them that means if you try to access it using this ip address or this ip address this service should respond that is what 000 means let me explain this a bit more because this is confusing to a lot of people and it's very important to understand what it means let's go ahead and edit the nginx configuration the default configuration is located under etc nginx sites enabled and default i will talk about this in detail later but for now this is the configuration file location and uh, we're gonna change a single parameter here here it says listen then space 80 which is the port number and then it says default server don't worry about this default server but this listen means listen on port number 80 and this follow the below one is for ipv6 i'm just gonna command it out i'm not interested in it at this moment so by default nginx listens on all network interfaces so if we change it to now we are telling nginx to listen only on loopback interface let me just save this configuration file and once you save nginx configuration you can run sudo nginx dash t to check if there is any syntax error if there is any syntax error it's going to show up here so we are good to go let me restart nginx system ctl restart nginx okay so now if i do net start dash t u l n p you can see that 000 has changed to 127.0.0.1 what does it mean well it means now this service is listening only on this interface and not on the second interface which is this one and that means if somebody try to access this this ip address they will not be able to access the website because it's not listening on this one and this loopback interface is only valid on the same system it has no value outside of the system see now if i try to open this 192.168.0.110 it's not loading because it's not listening on that ip address so this is why we use
the zero 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 you can you can specify that here zero dot zero dot zero dot zero and colon 80 but that's not needed by default nginx listens on all network interfaces let me change that and restart net nginx okay so this is why we use netstat for so far we talked about the ps command that checks for the running processes and then the netstat command that checks for the listening ports that's it for this video in the next one we will talk about checking for open ports from the outside of the system and also we'll talk about using curl to make http request to the web server please leave a like if you like the video or leave a dislike if you dislike the video thanks for watching